वेलकम बैक गाइस टुडे वी विल कवर मार्पोल एनएक्स फोर रेगुलेशन फॉर द प्रिवेंशन ऑफ पॉल्यूशन बाय सीवेज व्हिच एंटर्ड इनटू द फोर्स ऑन 27 सितंबर 2003 आई हैव डिवाइडेड दिस एनएक्स इनटू सेवन सेक्शन फर्स्ट व्हाट इज सीवेज वेस्ट सेकंड हैजार्ड्स टू मरीन एनवायरमेंट थर्ड द एप्लीकेशन फोर्थ ट्रीटमेंट ऑफ सीवेज फिफ्थ द डिस्चार्ज क्राइटेरिया सिक्स्थ द स्पेशल एरिया अंडर एनएक्स फोर एंड द सेवेंथ आईएसपीपीसी So let's start without further delay. It is said that waste management on board a ship is technically a full-time job for ship's crew. The waste produced by some type of ship can go in thousands of ton in daily basis. The waste can be divided into operational generated waste such as oil waste, air pollution, cargo residues etc and human generated waste such as garbage and sewage. So the NX4 is dedicated to the sewage. So let's define what is sewage. The sewage waste produced on board a ship can be further divided into two categories that is the black water and the grey water. Together they are called the waste water. So let's see what is black water. The black water comprises the following waste produced on a ship. Waste generated from drainage and in any other form from toilets and urinals. Waste generated from the drainage of medical dispensary, sick bay etc. via wash basin, wash tubs and scuppers located in such premises. Drainage from the cargo holds of living animals or other waste waters when mixed with the drainage of such places. Annex 4 gives requirements and measures for the black water, not for the grey water. So let's see what is grey water. The grey water produced on ship comprises of waste from the drainage of dishwasher wash basin in the galley drainage of cabin showers bath and wash basins drain the drainage of laundry waste water from the interior deck drains refrigerator and air conditioner condensate so now let's see what are the hazards to marine environment the untreated sewage contains a concentration of nitrate phosphates and organic matters this will contaminate the water bodies such as lake rivers and the sea as the bacteria in the untreated sewage are strong and can consume oxygen at a very high rate from the surrounding making it difficult to the natural fauna of the aquatic environment to sustain the discharge of raw sewage into the sea can create a health hazards sewage can also lead to oxygen depletion and can be a obvious visual pollution in coastal areas a major problem for the countries with tourist industries now let's see on which ship nx4 applies every ship of 400 grt and above which is engaged in international voyage ships less than 400 grt carrying minimum 15 persons on board So now let's see how the storage and treatment of sewage waste are done. The first one is the holding tanks. The holding tank is usually fitted irrespective of the treatment equipment available on the ship. The operation of the ship, its voyage and the total number of the crew on board ship are taken into account to determine the capacity of the sewage holding tanks. The holding tank shall has means to visually indicate the amount of its contents. Those ship which are not fitted with sewage treatment plants do have a holding tank as a minimum requirement under MARPOL. So now let's see what is sewage treatment plant. A ship can also be fitted with the approved sewage treatment plant. The most common type used is biological or aerobic digestion based system the biggest advantage of using stp is that effluent and treated sewage can be discharged anywhere in the high seas you can pause the video and have a look how the sewage treatment plant looks now let's see the third method communiting and disinfecting equipment ship can has a equipment which comprise of grinder cum filter that breaks the sewage into small particles the filter separate the solid and waste from the grinded sewage Chemical treatment is done to disinfect the grinded sewage sludge that is solid which is then retained in the small tank the liquid effluent which is separated from the sewage is disinfected using chemicals which are again filtered using a fine filters the liquid effluent which is free from solids and any bacteria can be reused for flushing of the toilets the solid sludge is then given to the show reception facility now let's see the discharge criteria of nx4 The sewage discharge from the ship is allowed if it has a approved sewage treatment plant which can treat the raw sewage and discharge communicated and disinfectant sewage. With this arrangement the discharge is allowed at a distance of more than 3 nautical miles from the nearest land and when the ship is proceeding with a speed of 4 knots and above. Untreated sewage can be discharged only at a distance greater than 12 nautical miles from the closest land only if the ship is proceeding with a speed of 4 knots and above. The ship has to maintain the rate of discharge of the sewage from the ship as recommended by the administration. So now let's see what are the special areas of NX4. The Baltic Sea is the only special area under NX4. The discharge of sewage is allowed in the Baltic Sea only if it is treated with sewage treatment plant irrespective of the distance from the land. So now let's see what is International Sewage Pollution Prevention Certificate (ISPPC). Which ships require this certificate? Ships engaged in international voyage that are 400 gross tonnage and above and less than 400 gross tonnage which are certified to carry more than 15 persons. How long does this certificate last? For a period specified by the administration which shall not exceed 5 years. What equipment is covered by the certificate? The sewage treatment plant, the commuter, 
the holding tank, shore discharge pipeline and connections. So what is shown on the certificate? Ships detail, equipment details, description of the commuter, description of the holding tanks, a pipeline for a discharge of sea waste to the reception facility fitted with a standard shore correction, survey details and the completion date of the survey on which the certificate is based. So with this guys, we have completed the NX4 in a nutshell. If you want these notes, you can join the telegram channel. Link is given in the description. Hope you liked the video. Do subscribe the channel and share with your maritime aspirant friends. Your subscription to the channel is our motivation. We'll see you in the next one.